Good morning, children. This is class fifth EVS book. Let's do lesson seven. Lesson seven is growing plants. A plant needs sunlight, carbon dioxide, minerals, and water to make food by photosynthesis. A green in plant called chlorophyll trap the energy from the sun needed to make food. Chlorophyll is mostly found in leaves inside plastids, which are inside the leaf cell. As we all know that plants and trees are very essential for our life. We depend on them for various things. The most important is food plant gives us grains, cereals, fruits, vegetables and other useful things such as wood, leaves, bark, paper etc. Most of the plants take birth from seed. A seed is a part of a plant which can reproduce a similar plant when get separated from the parent plant means a plant reproduce same types of plant structure of a seed a seed is a part of a seed plant which can grow into a new plant it is a reproductive structure which disperses and can survive from some time seeds carry the food that helps the new plant begin to grow this food store is in the endosperm or in the cotyledon. The seed consists of three components, embryo, endosperm and seed coat. Structure of seed. A seed consists of the following parts. Embryo. It is the small baby plant that grow into a big plant. Cotyledons. The food for embryo is stored in special seed leaves called Cotyledons. Seed coat. The outer heart covering that protects the seed is called as seed coat. The seed coat has two layers, the outer testa and inner tegment. Now, germination of seed. Germination is the growth of plant. When the seed begins to sprout, seeds have a seed coat, a protective layer on the outside. Inside the seed, there is a cotyledon that protects and provides food for the baby plant and the embryo, the baby plant, inside the seed that has root, a strum and leaves. The process by which a seed grow into seedling is called germination. In the process of germination, following steps are involved. Seed takes in water, causing the inner layer to swell. The cells of embryo small baby plant divide and grow bigger. As the seed grow bigger, its seed coat burst open. A tiny root called pedicel grow downwards and tiny stem called plumule grows upward towards the sunlight. The plumule grows into a shoot that produces leaves. The baby plants grow into an adult plant. Now. Condition necessary for germination. Seeds germinations depend on both internal and external condition. The most important external fac factor includes right temperature, water, oxygen or air and sometimes light or darkness. Various plants require different variables for successful seed germination. Conditions necessary for germinations First is water. Water is the most essential thing for plant growth. It helps to soften the seed coat so that an embryo can come out of the seed. Another important function of water is to change the food present in the cotyledon to a soluble form which the embryo can use. Second is air. Air is essential as seeds or plant require carbon dioxide to breathe. Sunlight and warmth. Sunlight and warmth are essential for the embryo baby plant to become active to grow. Now, dispersal of seeds. There are five main modes of seeds dispersal gravity when by sticks forming water and by animals. Some plants are disperse their seeds 
in response to an environmental. Stimulus dispersal involves the letting go or detachment of a diaspore from the main parent plant. Dispersal or spreading is the scattering of seeds to four places from the parent plants. Seeds spread so that they get enough water, air, sunlight and space to grow into a new plant. Seeds are spread by the following agent. Wind. Light weighted and small seeds are spread by wind. The seed of deledian, cotton, hiptage and drumsticks. Fruits have wings on them and are carried away by wind to four of places. Water. Seeds and fruits of the plant that grow near water are carried away by water. The fruits of seed of such plant have spongy and fibrous outer covering that helps them to float in water. Seeds of lotus, hydrilla, water lily, coconut etc. are spread by water. Animals Animals help in seed dispersal in several species. Some examples are human beings and animals eat fruits like cherries and throw away the seeds. Some seeds which hooks and spikes sticks to the hairy skin of an animal and are carried away. Birds swallow some seeds which come out unharmed in their dropping. Some plant seeds inside fleshy foods get digested by animals but the seed pass through the digestive tract and are dropped in form of dropping at various other locations. Now, explosion. Some plants have unique way to disperse their seeds. Several kinds of plants shoot seeds out of the pots by ripening and thus scatter the seeds. Few examples are peas, beans, poppy, balsam, etc. These plants are dispersed by explosion. Thank you children.